Welcome back. Now, movie mogul Tyler Perry recently posted on Facebook an account of having been racially profiled during a recent traffic stop. His post received over 100,000 likes. How bad is racial profiling among minority men? Back with me is criminal defense attorney Trent Copeland. And joining us now is one of my own show producers, Damu Bob. He unfortunately had a similar Tyler Perry experience. Damu, what, what was it that happened to you? Um, I was driving down Malibu, driving in Malibu on PCH, Saturday afternoon around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I was pulled over. The cops said I made an illegal left turn. Don't really know what that is. Um, and the first, my first reaction was, did I have my seatbelt on? Did I have my cell phone? Did I talk to my cell phone? Yeah. And then I realized that I wasn't. Cop comes up to the, comes to, comes to the side of the door, the other one on the other side. And the questioning, that's what frightened me was, do you have a gun? Do you have any drugs in the car? Um, are you a drug dealer? Those are sort of questioning. That got me kind of frightened because I had my two-year-old son in the back, back seat. And that's when I realized that this is a situation where I remember that conversation that Tyler Perry wrote in his Facebook post was, yes, sir, no, sir, um, basic stuff like that, so that it would not escalate the situation any further. So Was that sufficient to de-escalate it? It, it kind of was. I mean, you say, yes, sir, no, sir, um, and you don't want to, you kind of just follow their orders, they kind of back off, and then they went back, ran, ran my license plate, ran my... My license, my social, my uh, my insurance. Did you have a hoodie on? I did not have a hoodie on. I <laughs> Trent, had, Trent's smiling I had through this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> what, are your, what are your thoughts, Trent? Well, you know, this is this is a common occurrence, and it's unfortunate that it happens, and it's unfortunate that we have to have this kind of dialogue. But it happens. I can tell you from a legal perspective, th those kinds of questions are not normal questions that are asked. Generally I, I speaking, I have not been motives. asked about You've probably gun never or, been asked. Yeah. And no. most white Americans have probably never been asked, do you have guns, do you have drugs, you're a drug dealer, and you're carrying your, 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 your child in the back it, seat of the that car. That sounds it's crazy It's just not me. something that normally happens. No. So anyone who tells you that from a legal perspective, uh, that cop or those, those two cops were simply doing their jobs, they're lying. That's not how that goes. But I think the larger issue is, and I think we were talking about this earlier, is really from our perspective, why do you have to have, why are we having this dialogue? And then I think as you were suggesting earlier, and your question was, now what's white America asking? Um, right. And what are the other well, questions? Well, this was, he, you mentioned this during the break. I thought it was a great question. Right. No, absolutely. You know, I, I look at the Trayvon Martin situation, and I, I look at my son, who's two, and I'm sad because I'm going to have to have this Trayvon Martin conversation or the driving my black conversation with my son. We do the A's, the, you know, you do the, um, you know, you do the sex conversation. The birds but and also, the bees. The birds and the bees. But I'm, must, I'm also going to have to have the driving my black conversation. And when I'm looking at this Trayvon Martin situation is, I have to say to myself, you know, what are white parents telling their kids? What is their aha moment when they look at this case and they see a 17-year-old boy that's technically doing all the right things and Demo. loses his life? Demo, it, it I is mean, you're a parent, Drew. It's such a great question. And here's what it's not. It's not how to deal with the police. It's not don't wear a hoodie. Think how sad that is. It's not the stuff you're having to do. Now, I can tell you my kids are heading towards young adulthood, and my, my conversation is just... Do you, do you get this? Do you get the depths of this? You have tons of African-American friends. D did this change your perception of what, how they're growing up, what they're dealing with? That's where we're going with this. But we don't have to have those conversations about how to get through life. No, you don't have to have those conversations. Remember, you know, Geraldo Rivera came out and he apologized for the insensitive comments that he made, mostly because it was his son. It was his 30-year-old son who came to him and said, Dad, you break. don't.